Hey everyone, if you are new to Autodesk Fusion, let's explore the user interface and become familiar with how to navigate the software. I have a toy car model here that I will use just for demonstration of some of the features in Autodesk Fusion. Let's start with the data panel. The data panel stores all files using cloud storage and organizes them using folder level projects. When you created your Autodesk Fusion account, you had to create a Fusion team, which is like a file cabinet. Projects are essentially the various drawers of the cabinet, and folders organize data. You'll see all design and drawing files are stored here. Folder level projects can also be shared and users can be assigned permissions to control how data is changed in the project. I use this for my classes and for any teachers who wish to do this with their classes, check out the resources in the, the description for details. Now let's take a look at the quick access toolbar, which houses the file menu. Here you can see all the common functions such as creating new files, open existing files, save options, and options for preparing files for 3D printing and exporting. You will find the save, undo, redo buttons, as well as the Fusion Team Home button that shows your recent activity. Next will be the File tab, which acts like the tabs you open in a web browser. All new or unsaved design files will have untitled for the file name until they are saved. You can add tabs by selecting the plus icon and close individual tabs by selecting the X at the right end of the tab. To the right of the tabs will be options for extensions, viewing job status, notification center, help menu, and individual count options. The job status icon shows if any active jobs are available, but mainly you use it to update Fusion as the program receives updates. A one will appear on the clock icon and you will be prompted to allow Fusion to download new updates. The notification center will provide various messages if there are issues with Fusion. The help menu allow you to search for learning documentation as well as to check for updates and see what's new with the current version of Autodesk Fusion. The account options are available to make changes to your account or to update preferences, which we did back in the getting started video. Moving to the ribbon area, we have the change workspace function, which allows us to perform various functions in Autodesk Fusion. We spend a lot of time in the design workspace modeling and assembling the 3D models we create. Generative design is an AI powered tool that allows for the software to create various solutions using predefined goals. Render allows for creating very realistic renderings of the designs. Animation allows us to create exploded views that can be used for documentation of how designs are assembled or to be operated. Simulation allows for the virtual testing using computer aided engineering features such as static stress testing, thermal testing, and analyzing structural stability of a design. Manufacture is the computer aided manufacturing or CAM solution where toolpaths can be generated to use with CNC machines to make your model design. Drawing is another workspace we spend a fair amount of time in considering we are using it to create engineering drawings for the designs to be manufactured. Documentation is also a big goal and this workspace allows us to do that. Finally, we have the specialized electronics workspace for creating models of electronic designs and visualizing the print circuit board designs before being manufactured. We have tabs at the top of the ribbon, solid, surface, mesh, sheet metal, plastic, manage, and utilities. The majority of the time we'll be working on the solid tab. The ribbon holds and displays various commands. The commands are organized by panels, such as create, modify, assemble, configure, construct, inspect, insert, and select. You can see all commands that belong in a panel by clicking on the panel name. You can customize your ribbon if you wish. That's something we did in the getting started video. We have the browser, which contains 
the settings for the document, named views, origin work planes, and components. Here you can see the various components or parts that make up this design. Notice if I place my cursor over the name of a component, it highlights in the graphics area. Same if I select a component in the graphics area, a line will appear over the component name in the browser. The modeling timeline houses all edits made to the file. It contains sketches, features, and actions, such as inserting components or repositioning components. You can click the play button to see a time lapse of the actions performed, or even move the timeline marker to stop at a particular position if needed. The navigation toolbar contains things like the orbit tool, look at, pan, zoom, zoom to fit, as well as display settings, which affect the visual style of the model and showing various model elements. Grids and snaps contain grid settings, snap to grid, and the visibility of the layout grid in the graphics area. Viewports can also be toggled to see the model in various views. The, the view cube also allows you to rotate and view the model from any angle. Different settings and view changes can also be accomplished using the view cube. The last item I'll cover will be navigation shortcuts. Many people who are new to Fusion ask me how I move around the screen so fast, and this is how I do it. To zoom in and out, just simply roll the wheel on the mouse. Keep in mind the zoom occurs wherever the cursor is located. To pan, hold down on the scroll wheel of the mouse and move your mouse around to pan around the screen. To orbit, hold down the shift key and hold down on the scroll wheel of the mouse and move the mouse around to rotate the model. You can always return to the home view by moving your cursor by the view cube and clicking on the house icon to return to the home position. I use the view cube a lot to rotate as well, but this is just a personal preference, so feel free to learn your own style. This wraps up the Autodesk Fusion user interface, and I hope you feel a little more comfortable as you start using these features in the future.